Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back for another demo. Okay, so this one is from Lush. It's from the new Easter 2018 line, and this one is called April Showers. It is scented in cedarwood oil, cypress oil, violet absolute, and a little tonka absolute. I think this one smells really nice. It's sweet and a little bit florally. It's soft and it's a little bit woodsy at the same time. So I really like this scent. Now, my first impression of this bath bomb is that it's, it's really pretty small. Um, so I looked up the size and I don't usually look up the size or the price and it's only 3.5 ounces, which I thought was really small. And I ordered this from the UK and it's on the US site now. And the price on the US site for this bath bomb is $7.95. And I think that's kind of outrageous, honestly, for a bath bomb this size. Now I did the currency converter and I paid what looks to be $4.84 in um, US dollars on the UK site, which when I ordered it, um, I know you, I don't think you pay tax when you order from the UK site, so that you know you might get a little break from that, but um, still don't think that equals out to seven dollars and 95 cents. So I probably wouldn't pay that much for this bath bomb, but anyway, that's my first impression. But I do like the scent, and I'm interested to see how much color comes out of this bath bomb. So, anyway, we'll see. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, that water, it looks pretty cool. It's ended up looking really, really cool with some cool bath art. So evidently the little raindrops were bath oils. And I looked at the ingredients and it looks like that this bath bomb has about four different oils. So in addition to the ones that I mentioned, it looks like it's got some olive oil and some castor oil in it. So I'm hoping that this is going to be quite moisturizing. So but let's go down and look at the final watercolor. It looks like a lilac, just a really pretty lilac to me. So, it's a really, really pretty color. So, this bath bomb did have a little more than meets the eye. I'm hoping that that color on the sides won't be an issue. And I'm not crazy, I don't know, about this little white part right here. But, um, I don't know, let's check it out and, um, See if we have any bubbles. Soft. Alright, it doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of bubbles, but like I've told you guys before, a lot of times that is the case when there are a lot of oils or moisturizers in the water. It looks like there's gonna be a few, but I don't think it's gonna be a big bubbler. There does look like there's a little bit of residue building on the sides, but I'm assuming that's gonna wipe down 
when I get out. But I'm going to hop in the shower real quick and I will let you guys know how it was when I'm done. Alright guys, so I'm done with my April showers bath and this is what I thought. Okay, so what is left down there is tons and tons of purple shimmer and I wasn't expecting that so that was a nice surprise. Also, I thought the watercolor was really pretty and the scent is very strong and it's lingering in my bathroom so that's nice. So, what I was saying earlier is I thought $7.95 was a lot for this really small bath bomb and I do stand by that considering that the Free Rangers is $9.95 and it's much bigger but um, in contrast to this one, it doesn't have any shimmer and I don't think that the scent was very strong. So, I don't know. That's just kind of my um, take in between these two bath bombs. But this one did have the bath oils in it and I was kind of worried about the fact that it might kind of be kind of oily and greasy but it wasn't. As a matter of fact, I don't really feel that moisturized at all. But that being said, I think this did have a lot of positives. So if you haven't seen this before, now you've got a sneak peek at what maybe you could expect. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.